This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Storyblocks.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DoveMotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today, we will create a circle background shape and add some depth using a gradient. Now, I'm not sure what to call this effect or style exactly, but I think it looks pretty cool and can be used in a number of different ways. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and let's get started with this tutorial. Now, if you're watching my video for the very first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's keep it 1920 by 1080, that is full HD, and call this render as our main render comp 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition which is going to be for creating those circular shapes so i'm going to call this shape hit ok go and select the ellipse tool and let's set the stroke to around 70 and we don't need any fill so i can click on this icon and basically set this to none hit ok and let's hold control and create a circle also you make sure you press shift at the same time so it creates a perfect circle like so all right let's go into effects and preset type in four color gradient so four hyphen color gradient double click to apply that gradient and then we can move this points just like so just in order to make this look a bit more intense and then we can change the colors the way we want so for this one i'm going to keep it something like a lighter red version for the green one i will be going with a darker pink color and for this one we will be going with we will go with kind of a, a darker shade like so all right and same for this one as well so we have this very nice look that we are going for maybe i can switch the position so i'll move this one right here and this one right here so that looks much more interesting and then we can duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's hit u two times to reveal the size property and let's scale this down basically bring down the size not scaling it and then i'm going to select the four color gradient and move this points so i'm going to move this one right over here move this one right here this one right here and this one right over here so we get this very nice and interesting look like so so you know it creates kind of a depth into the shape and it looks kind of a you know 3d it doesn't look that flat so now we can go back into our main render comp let's go ahead and drag and drop in the shape composition and now i'm going to add a simple rotation to this for that i will be using a simple expression so hit r to bring down the rotation properties hold alt and click on the stopwatch and type in time times uh, let's go with 60. so we have this nice rotating animation for our shape looks pretty nice let's create our background so hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this bg for background i'm gonna hit ok bring that below and go into the shape comp again and let's copy this four color gradient so hit control c go back and paste it on this one i'm going to move this white one right here and move this darker shades just like so and also pick whip the same darker shade for this one and for actually hit control z change the white color to this nice pink that we have and change this pink to a darker shade just like so so we have a very nice background really quick i'm going to create a new adjustment layer and add some noise so i'm going to call this noise go into effects and preset type in noise double click to apply that up and set this to around three percent so we don't get any kind of color bendings because we are using gradients so there are chances when we render it 
it may give a little bit of color bending so to avoid that we can simply use a nice noise we can also switch to 16 bits per channel so i can hold alt and click on this so it's going to switch to 16 but for now i'm just going to go with 8 you can update it to 16 if you want to so there we have our shape looking pretty good as you can see it's not rotating properly so to fix this what we can do is let's go into shape first of all turn on the title action save and just make sure everything is properly into the center so i'm gonna align this like so and align this as well now if you don't see this align tab you can find it under windows align just turn that on and now if i rotate it it rotates perfectly pretty nice now i can create some depth into the scene so to do that i'm going to duplicate the shape so hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit s and scale this up a little bit like so and then go to effects and preset add a blur so we can use a fast box blur turn on repeat edge pixels and maybe set this to around 10 10 is a bit too much let's go with 8 something like that all right let's duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate it scale this really nice and big and set this to around 15 so we have this very nice depth as you can see looks pretty good now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor storyblocks as an editor how much time have you wasted looking for that perfect video clip or maybe that perfect music for your videos or a simple graphic animation as an editor don't you wish there was a simple and affordable way to find the clips and graphics for your projects what if i told you there is there is storyblocks storyblocks offers thousands of studio quality and royalty free stock video clips after effects templates motion graphics backgrounds intros and so much more everything is royalty free so you can use it for your commercial projects or for your old youtube videos which is super awesome Storyblocks offers affordable subscription plans that scale to meet your needs and a new video editing tool called Maker. I use Storyblocks myself for my client projects because with their unlimited all access plan, I can download unlimited assets and use Maker and I only have to pay a single price per year. So go ahead and check out storyblocks.com slash dope motions or click the first link in the description below. And finally, I can add some text to this so I can select the text layer type in the text that you want so i'm gonna type in swall for the font i will be going with one of my favorite that is integral i will mention the link in the description to download the font make make it small you know align this into the center again and then let's animate our text so i'm gonna go ahead and add a property of position and then click on add a property of opacity for the position i'll move this to around 60 or something set the opacity to zero go to around one second go into the range selector animate the offset so i'll set this to 100 create a keyframe on the offset go back and set this to zero so now if i go into the advanced properties i can increase the ease high to 100 and let's see what we get nope let's set the ease low to 100 and let's see what we get so it looks pretty good pretty nice and then what we're gonna do is reveal this complete scene so to do that i'll create a new solid so hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this mask or a mat whatever that you want to call it hit ok and then change the blending mode of this to stencil alpha all right and now if i animate this i'll set this to one second hit p create a keyframe go back and yeah, let's bring that out so we have a simple animation but with this i will also animate the shapes so i'll select the shapes hit p create a keyframe go back and let's set them a bit to the left like so select all the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph and then i'm gonna select these points and drag them to the left and boom there we have this very nice reveal pretty nice and as you saw we used the shape as a mask for all the animations below so if i turn on the transparency grid you can see looks pretty nice so that was kind of a quick tip here 
and there we go our complete animation is ready now you can try out different shapes as well with this particular technique and create some really interesting looking animation so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure you hit that like button and comment down below which technique was your favorite and if you're watching my video for the very first time then make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out